Hey everybody, it's your Gamer 101 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. In the last part, we went grocery shopping. In this part, I'm guessing we're going to actually get into the ancestor of Sir Galath Cooper. So let's go ahead and start off juggling act. Alright, it seems that Galath is being held somewhere inside those circus tents. Sly, I've spotted a small opening at the top of that far tent. What I don't see is how you are going to get up there. Oh, the circus. I could have been the greatest trapeze artist. Uh-huh, sure. Anyway, the tent... And with your shell, you'd be a natural for the guy they shoot out of the cannon every night. Right, cannons. Look, you better go check out that tower. It's a good vantage point, and we can assess the situation from there. Okay, Sly, get up that tower and you can break out the new outfit and toy I made with those materials. Oh, so there was a reason for that. Of course. Wait. Oh, it hasn't even shown me yet. No, don't turn into it. I... Oh, dang it. I didn't want you to turn into it, Sly. That was an accident. I just wanted to get the mask and then... Okay, I guess we actually gotta get up here and get it. Thank you. Okay. So, is this it? Ah, it appears the guards have left plenty of ammunition lying around. Lovely. Oh, I, I would love to see it, but my incap uh, I'm incapable of keeping in touch with vantage points. Okay, so we have the archer costume, and I love this costume, actually. It was played in the very first demo of Sly Cooper, these in time. So, I can't wait to actually use this one. That's, I love it. It's like Robin Hood Sly. From that basket. Try standing next to it and pressing the circle button. Why, that bow will fire an arrow with an attached rope. Use it to create a pathway here. Try to hit that target across the gap. Press and hold the R1 button to draw the bow, then release it to fire. But as I think I said in the first episode, I really like the medial times. Mainly because uh, I love like RPGs and stuff, and archers were always one of my favorites, so I think it's really cool. Alright, enough of your voice, Bentley. It can get old every now and then. No wonder Penelope disappeared. Just say. Even though I feel bad for you. Poor Bentley, he doesn't have a woman anymore. Wow, somehow this place looks smaller from the outside. Fly by scan shows the ground in here is rigged with motion detectors. Which means you'll need to stay off the floor. You wanted to be a trapeze artist? Here's your chance. Cool. How does this sound for a stage name? The Amazing Cooperone! Huh? Huh? Right? It's good. It sounds like bad Italian takeout. I'm betting that platform is where they're keeping Gallant. Go check it out. All right, smart guy. On my way. Even though I have already played this, this episode's really cool. So, interact, let's get an arrow, let's go ahead and go boast. It's not really, it's not difficult at all. So, but I really cannot wait to see what happens after it because I love right Sir Gallop. He's probably gonna be one of my favorite Cooper ancestors. The last episode was, uh, the prehistoric one wasn't up to as much as it could have been in my opinion. But, I think it's cool that they did throw that in there, how it was prehistoric times. But I love Tennessee Kid Cooper in that episode, and um, Ryuichi is awesome. I love Ryuichi, he's so cool. Because I always had a fetish for like ninjas when I was a little kid. <laughs> but Tennessee is just awesome for the aspect that he has an awesome cane that can shoot. And he invented like sliding on rails and stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, poor Sir Gallus. He went from just a knight in shining armor to a jester. Don't almost fail. <laughs> Uh. All right. Fly those trumpets look oh, yeah. flimsy. Watch it. Hmm, a moving platform. How will I ever hit it? You don't even have to hit a direct target at all either. So, I mean, it's really easy to be honest. And we're just making our way over to Sir Gallus. I've played this episode, I think I played the demo like three times because I was so excited for this game and it's out and it's really good. Especially, it's only, it's only 30 bucks at Best Buy. I mean, it was only 40 when it came out. But that is one game worth 30 bucks, no doubt. They don't even look like they're reaching me. Oh, good job. No, no, that's okay. 
Okay, thank you for letting me respawn right here. Like, as you look in the background, they put took a lot of time on the background aspect of it, which I think is really cool. You know, the loading, and that's probably a little bit reason why their loading screens are insanely wrong. I mean, long, long. Well, it is wrong to do that, but like, that is the only complaint I have really with this game. The loading screens are ridiculous, but it doesn't really bug me too much. It's not really bad except for part, like, in the, when, once you load the episode, it's ridiculous. It takes forever. Like, it's only like a, maybe a minute or so, but that feels a lot longer when you're waiting to play. <laughs> Alright. Let it go, and we're good. Did we make it? Did it? Are we here, Sir Nellis Cooper? All right, Sly, almost there. I realize that, Bentley. Bentley would love to point out the obvious. Never mind, we're not here yet. Oh, almost lost my winter coat. Uh, should be it. Good enough. I should try this blindfolded. You really should. That that would be cool. Do a video of that. Actually, like me webcaming, me blindfold shooting this. That'd be pretty cool. Be very fun and interactive. One thing I really want to get used to is like start streaming some stuff. See, people were asking me to stream this. Sorry if I hit the mic, but I wanted to actually LP it. You know. Sir Gallant, my name is Sly. I've come to rescue you. Greetings, friend. But I require no rescue. I am merely biding my time until the uh, proper strategic moment. Yes, that. So, how long have you been biding your time? Well, I suppose it has been about a fortnight. All right. If you want to stay here with the cannonballs and flaming rings, that's fine. I'm heading back to my gang's hideout to plan our next move. You make a good point, sir. Yes, I believe the time is now. Let us rush forward, that we may strike a crushing blow against the black tyrant who imprisoned me. Whoa, one thing at a time. Let's just get back to the hideout first. Good job, Sla. So I'm guessing we're going to go to a cutscene now to explain what happened and whatnot. So let's watch that. Once Sir Galeth calmed down, we returned to the hideout and got the whole story. The surrounding area was held in the iron grip of a fearsome black knight. His origin was a mystery, but his power and technological might was impressive. He'd even created a new type of robotic guard, which patrolled tirelessly and without mercy. Galeth had been captured when he tried to take on these guards single-handedly. Bentley searched every criminal database in existence, but couldn't find a thing. All we had were more questions. Had Le Paradox somehow made an ally from this time period? And how had this Black Knight managed to create those mechanical monsters? When we explained to Sir Gallop who we really were, I don't know if he believed us or not. But it didn't matter. He just started ranting about taking the fight to the enemy and restoring the Cooper honor. Needless to say, the guy was a little intense. Until we figured out what was going on, I could see we were gonna have to keep him on a short leash. You know all them medieval people that are always wanting the war. Oh, that'd be really cool to live back in those days, except for the act of, if you say something wrong, they'll just slice you in half. Slice. Okay, that has been told to me the whole game. I realized that after episode one. That just shot me right up in the trees. That was completely unnecessary. What do we got here? Cane swipe. We we're trying to get his cane back, but merely by taking a visual as you know, visual, whatever. I can't think of words right now. I just come out of school and it fries my brain. But whenever we're looking at the old um, past episodes that. I'm guessing we're not gonna get his cane back. And his cane's really cool how it's got the like, actual sword handle on it. That's really awesome. That is one thing, I don't know what the, really the terminology would be for it, but that's one thing they have done a great job with this game. The Black Knight. 
fly. It appears the Black Knight has a patrol moving an object in a locked case through the town. From the level of security, I'd bet the farm it's Gallus Cade. You have a farm? Just get over there. If what Gallus says is true, the Black Knight almost never leaves his castle. And when he does, it's only to briefly visit the blacksmith shop. This may be the one opportunity we have to steal the cane back. Okay, time to join the parade. Fly, before you make a move, get some pictures of the Black Knight and that case. We need to figure out who and what we're dealing with. Fly, make sure you're shot at the Black Knight. Make your guesses below on who you think this mysterious knight is. Who could it be? Is there going to be a twist in the game? Or will it just be somebody brand new? That'd be pretty cool if they use a villain from the old ones, you know. Like, uh, hmm, who could it be? Who who do we fight in Sly 3? Um, who, I don't think it would be Dr. M, the last boss. To be honest, I really can't think of it. The only thing I can really think of is, like, Sly 2, like the Contessa and stuff. And, like, what if it was, like, Neela? I don't think it'd be her. She's been gone for a while. But that'd be kind of odd, you know? I'm trying to think of her. It's just talking. I needed a better picture. Oh crap, he didn't go this way. Sorry, I thought he went that way, Bentley. I was trying to ramble on to viewers watching this video. In that, in that case. Well, the other kid. Okay. Come here, Black Knight. BAM! Photographer for life, well, Black Knight. It's a little dark. Too bad this thing doesn't have a flash. I don't like that RNA, it looks pretty good. Already ahead of you, Bentley. Very nice, Sly. I could crack that thing with my eyes. This is how all picture, you know, photo op recon missions should be. Just right beside each other, you got a picture. I was trying to, and it wasn't letting me. What does it mean? I'm trying to take a picture of the guards. I thought I said take a picture of the guards. There's something mysterious in his back, and I need coins. I went and collected 3,000 coins, and it was nowhere near enough. Platinum gear. I'll take it, it's 200. I really should invent some super deodorant for the paradox. It doesn't show me a target. Take out the guards! Oh. Well, as I found out, I failed, but now I know. I, thought it, I didn't really read it that closely, I just saw take photo. Okay, well, luckily we have silent op operation or whatever. You might need that, I don't know. But we have it, so. Spin attack! We still got the platinum wedge. I mean, gear, didn't we? Yep. No! Don't run! Don't run! Very nice, fly. I could crash that thing with my eyes closed. Okay, so uh, here, let's try not to fail too much. You know, there's a tendency to do that a lot. But um, sorry, can't focus too much because I said my brain's been fried. Like I said in school, I mean. I mean, it's kind of off topic, but I used to like love math, mathematics and stuff. I, I was really good at with numbers. A lot, I, I don't like literature, reading. Mainly because they have questions like, what do you think, what do you think this should be retitled? Well, I think it should be titled, but no, your opinion is wrong. That's why I don't like literature. Screw it, I'm not failing this time. That's why I don't like literature, though. I don't know if anybody's liked that, but uh. But after taking college calculus, I hate it. I hate math. Oh my gosh, the teacher's not even like mean or anything, it's just the aspect of this is the most like Greek stuff I am learning. It makes no sense. Like I'm learning freaking Japanese. That'd be really cool to learn Japanese. I can get games early and understand them. Like I'd get like Pokemon X and Y early and then play them. Okay. I can't run because he'll turn around. And 
Damn. All right. Thank you. Only a couple fails. No. Get away. All right. So now we just gotta get this cane. Really should invent some. Let's go, Bentley. It's your turn. Oh, it's back to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Raphael. Oh, thanks for getting me so high level in the very beginning. I really appreciate that. The music is pretty awesome, but if you die, then, well, that sucks because, well, you just died and you lose your skills. Every little bit helps. Give me that. I need that. Oh, I'm trying. I gotta get to one of these. Bam! All right, level two. Let's let's keep the levels going. No, survive. No, what did this bullcrap? I did not hit that. I don't really need a health bar. Oh, I need that though. That stuff doesn't hurt me, and this whole time I've been thinking that hurts me. The purple stuff. I don't know, it just seems like if you ran into it, bam, that'd be like poisonous. Oh, I can't really worry about getting all these things. Alright, so far so good. Get off me. Good lord, look at all I have. I think I've gotten to level like 10. The first one's like really easy. No! It's okay, I should be able to find something worth it. Oh, let's go this way. Bam, bam. Get that, get that. Alright, Bentley, we're doing decent. Now I know I can just run into this stuff, not worry about staying a distance. It makes things so much easier. Well, I'm back right this level. Level 7. How do I shoot these things again? Alright. Stop. Bam! Look how hurt he is already! Holy crap, that did so much damage. What do you want, little minion? I don't care. Let's go. What are you gonna do? That was so the bosses. Look at that. That was one like grenade and they killed them all. That's too easy. Come on. A little bit more difficulty. And there we have it, guys. We got the cane. Which we're probably going to lose again at the end. <laughs> Some reason, the. Uh, what is it? Lay. What is his name? L. Paradox keeps needing our canes. Hmm. Well, he's gonna need Sly's cane. Is that gonna tie into the story? Question mark. But we are gonna cut off here. In the next part, we're gonna take Sir Galeth Cooper with his new, well, actually, his regained cane and do the job Eye in the Sky. So, see you guys then. Don't forget to leave a like. Really helps out the video. Subscribe if you're new. We're gonna be just doing some more videos and some other games on this channel. So, thank you for watching and see you next time.